All right, friends, I did something. <laughs> I got a 24 foot 1973 Bulls Arrow camper. I just put out the van tour yesterday and I've had this for two weeks now. I filmed the van tour back in January with my brother. Um, this is actually the second time I'm recording this. Um, <laughs> There was a helicopter circling for some reason. I don't know if you can see that, but that thing is just hovering around. And it's really annoying. There's a fire department fire station right across the street, so I don't know if that's what they're dealing with, but who knows. Someone across the street was like doing some leaf blowing. It was just too loud. I was just watching it and I, I couldn't even handle it. It was just so annoying after all the noise issues I had with my van tour. We're not doing that again. Um, so I might as well just record it again. So this is the beauty, the vintage old, old guy or girl. I don't know yet what I'm gonna name it. Um, yeah, let's just hop right in. All right, like any good tour, <laughs> you start with the outside, so. There's some places that definitely need work. Someone shot at this, um, so there's some holes in the glass on the inside, and I'm going to be replacing the fiberglass there. Someone graffitied on it, but that should be pretty easy to fix. It's also on the door. That window, I still have something, I guess it fell at the, me the mechanisms of, these are called Jalousi windows. Um, they're super cool, but really hard to replace. So the, I do know of a couple places online that I can get the parts for if the ones that I have inside aren't working anymore but either way yeah so this side is in relatively good condition the entire exterior needs to be resealed all of those seams but other than that it's honestly surprisingly good let's walk to the other side yeah and all of the windows on this side are in really good condition this is how I figured out what year it was. I had no idea. I thought it was the mid-60s, but it's a 1973. That was the original tire that was on it. The person who sold it to me and towed it to me replaced that for me. But really cool part is that it has two of the original hubcaps. I'm gonna see if I can buff that out and maybe spray paint it silver again so it doesn't look so pitted. That's obviously the water inlet. There used to be a door here, I'm assuming. Whether, maybe I'll build a new one or find a replacement, we'll see. And this is the water heater. Hello, little spider. <laughs> um, and this is, it's kind of dark, you can't really see. But this is the cord for shore power, I'm pretty sure. This will all be reworked into there's some water damage in there. That's just a little taste of what's to come for all the water damage. But the biggest part of damage on the exterior is that guy. And it goes all the way around over here. So that is going to get welded, hammered back. Oh, <laughs> was not on me. Um, it's gonna get hammered back in and welded. Uh, but that is pretty much the only like really bad part of the exterior. But that seemed doable for me to find someone to fix that. Um, and we're getting heading into the summer, late spring, summer. So. Less, not a lot of rain. We have a bit of rain, rain in the forecast this week, but after a 95 degree day, so we'll just tarp it. Um, but yeah, you'll see there's so much water damage on the inside. I'm kind of not so worried about water damage until I do start putting things in. Um, I'll turn back around. This massive exterior trunk thing, I'm super excited about. The only thing is I didn't get any keys with the camper, which means I'm probably gonna have to have a locksmith come out here or replace the lock cylinder, is that I think what it's called? And this is not gonna go on the road, so I'm not really concerned about replacing all of those lights right away. And then that brings us right back to this side. All right, and let's go inside. This is missing the lock, but I'll get this replaced or I'll just put in a new handle. Come on, there we go. I love that these old campers have these little lock things to hold the door in place. So smart. The screen 
will need to be replaced because I have a big dog and she will very quickly scratch through that. So brace yourselves, it's a mess. <laughs> so like I said, lots of water damage. There, 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 there. <laughs> There's holes there <laughs> under those things and much more. So I am not blind to the fact that this is a big project. I got a really good deal on this. I paid less than $2,000 for it as is. Um, there's no title, but I'll get that. I'll deal with that later. Um, like I said, it's not going on the road. So back to the interior tour. So I have no idea if this was a couch or a dinette, one there, one there, because there's nothing on the floor. Someone at some point ripped the floor up. I'm assuming it was probably carpet. I got two chairs <laughs> with this. Um, I'm going to probably rip out a lot. Anything that needs to be replaced will be. I do not want to be dealing with mold. This will all probably have to come out. Because um, I honestly don't think that anyone resealed the camper, at least in the last 20 years. There's, oh, let me back up and not fall out of the camper. There's the kitchen. Very vintage um, oven stove combo. I will not be keeping that. I will probably sell that. So I'm probably going to replace this with another used, more traditional um, stove with the oven below it, which means I'm going to have to kind of reconfigure this, mostly this side, so there might just be like a drawer under there. Who knows? And maybe I'll extend that for more storage, but. There is the missing window. So like I said, it's intact, but it, the hardware I might need to replace. Probably will need to replace. Going to be taking all of this out, redoing the counter. Um, found out that the, oh, what does this say? Cutting board? That's something we discovered together. Rad. Um, all of the drawers in the entire camper are plastic. So I think for at first, I'm just gonna replace the faces and keep these, like clean them out and spray paint them spray paint them and make them look really clean because right now they do not being brown this is where the fridge used to be i will put the new fridge in there again but obviously i have a lot of water damage i need to fix that is the i'm assuming the propane heater we'll be taking that out because it's massive and it's going to be taking up a lot of space there's so much storage in here we're on a slight slant. I'm still dealing with leveling it out. Um, and this is one of the latches that doesn't work. These are really cool. Oh, did it work? No, it didn't. We'll look at this one. Um, eat. So these, I'm definitely keeping these as much as I, as I can. These lock and latch, but they, I honestly think they look kind of cool. So I'll probably paint them, get them spray painted. They are metal. I think this part, is that metal too? I can't really tell. But yeah, this one's broken but I will fix that. But this is the second closet here. That's the first one. So there's a drawer under there. And here in the bedroom, there's two overhead cabinets. I will probably be taking one or both of them out. And under that we have a lot of drawers, which is awesome. I'm really looking forward to having all of the storage after being in the van for so long. Another water damage spot, like this is how I kind of figure that they probably never resealed the roof, is it's pretty much every single spot where there was a hole from the fans or vents, it just leaks from there. And then there are three drawers, pretty large ones, under the bed. Um, I'm thinking this is a full-size bed. If it is a queen, then I'll take it down to a full because it's just me and Shasta and we don't, don't need a queen. We've only ever had a full, so this I'm assuming I think was part where a curtain tucked in. It's super smart. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or get rid of it. Put a new cur curtain in. Who knows? I don't really love that there's like a gap right here. I don't know. We'll see. Moving right along to the bathroom. Like I said, honestly, the door <laughs> does not stay closed. If I do it gently enough, it will... No, no. Oh! Come on. Ugh. 
I don't know why it's not working this time. Anyway, there's the bathroom. I love these light fixtures on both sides. And here we have another closet, more storage. That is the water heater. We'll be taking that out and putting an electric one in. And all of the plumbing will be switched out. That thing is disgusting and I'm not looking forward to taking that out. There is poop and toilet paper in there right now. Surprised it doesn't sneak, stink in here. It makes me wonder how old that shit is. <laughs> um, this sliding door is awesome. The hardware is still there. It just came off of its tracks down below, but I'm looking forward to rebuilding this to make a cool door. So now let's turn around to the shower. Woo! Huge space, relatively. I mean, I don't have a shower in my van, so this is quite large. Um, I am conflicted on what to do with this. Um, I am just like 80% sure there's probably water damage behind that wall. But the thing is, this is completely encased in. It was screwed in here. They must have built this wall after they put that in, which means there's no way to just take like this wall off and replace it. I have to take this entire thing out. And yeah, so I don't know, maybe I can save it, but honestly, it's probably gonna end up getting ruined when I take it out but I'm pretty sure there's water damage. Also like who puts carpet in a bathroom? It's just gross. Um, but this is pretty nice. Definitely gonna be keeping this. I think someone, there was like a little something something in here, but yeah, really nice size medicine cabinet. Let's go back to the front of the camper. All right, so. Like I said, not looking forward to doing the bathroom. I understand how big of a project this is gonna be and it's probably gonna take me a while. I'm hoping three months, cause I just don't have the hesitation anymore. Um, like I did with the first build of the van, the second one, I could have done it faster. I was just really bad at time management. So from those first two things, what I've learned is to just get after it and do it. And then I know, because since I built rebuilt my van here on this property, I understand the heat and the hours that I tend to be more, more productive in for my normal work versus when I need to work on this. Because um, right now it's, I think, after two and the sun is now hitting the camper. But in the morning, up until like one, it is not getting hit by sun. So I think even if it's going to be 90 degrees that day, if I can get done with whatever I want to get done um, for those first four hours of the day, I think it'll be pretty good. Um, but yeah, the black tank, I'm not looking forward to taking that out because I have no idea how full it is. <laughs> I might call around and see if there's someone I can hire to do that just to get it out. Um, it doesn't need to be a nice job. And if the pipe is still there, but as long as the tank is gone, like I don't want to touch that, but who knows? All right, and something I wanted to ask you guys now that we are at the end of the tour. Um, how would you like to watch this renovation? I have done the vlog style with my first build. I did kind of a narration style with my rebuild. And I am leaning towards more vlog style because I'm staying put. I don't really have travel plans, so... I have potentially more time to put out more than one video every two months um, or once a month. So I, I would like to try for once a week. I don't know if I can do that with my, cause I do work, like I don't get paid for, by YouTube. I don't, I'm not at that point yet. So what I do for work takes, like that needs to take priority, but I wanna document this uh, for myself and also for you guys. Cause there's not a whole lot of bulls arrow renovation videos um out there even just like vintage campers no one's really documenting their vintage camper renovation so i just want to share that just to give a little bit more of a resource for people so let me know how you'd like to watch these videos if you want them vlog style and weekly or every two weeks i can make that happen um there are some things i would like to go more in depth on that i think is a bit unique to what i'm doing versus other things I won't really go into detail for because I'm not like the resource for that. Um, I, and if I come across something where someone did it better, I, where I, who I learned from, I will leave that video in the description of those videos. So 
yeah, leave a comment, tell me what you want. But in the meantime, make sure you're subscribed to see what happens next. Um, the, the demolition is what's happening next, but like this video and make sure you're also following on my Instagram. I share real time in my stories there. I don't really post often in feed, but I'm there pretty often in stories. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I can't believe my luck with like the noise issues, like just shocking. Like literally a helicopter was circling. Never happened here before. Just the day that Jessie decides to record, I guess is just the day that the universe is like, let's just throw a bunch of sound at her and see how she can deal with the, the noise pollution. So thank you for that. <laughs> Hope, hopefully the second version was better.